Hey everyone, this is Sarah from Life's Little Sweet. First off, I want to say it's been cold and rainy in New Jersey, and we're going to spend the day doing some baking. Just to show you, there has not been a spot of sunshine at all, and I'm looking forward to getting some good See weather. over here, my daughter spilled her bubbles all over the floor and is jumping in them. Okay, so this is Grow and Grow Mixins by Similac, and you can add it to your toddler's food to make sure they're getting their nutrition. I'm looking forward to trying this product because as I've written on my blog before, my daughter's pretty picky about the food she eats. I'm going to make a chocolate chip oatmeal raisin cookie using the Go and Grow Mixins by Similac. Here are all the ingredients to make the chocolate chip oatmeal raisin cookies. I'll walk you through each ingredient. This is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. If you want it to be more powerful, you can use Saigon cinnamon, one teaspoon of kosher salt. I always use kosher salt when cooking and baking because of its subtle flavor. I have one cup of coconut oil that has been melted and then cooled to room temperature. This is three quarters of a cup of granulated white sugar, which I sifted to make sure there are no lumps. This is three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, which I made sure there are no lumps in as well. One teaspoon organic vanilla extract. Two large farm fresh eggs from my sister-in-law Nicole's chicken. I have three cups of oats one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, one cup of organic raisin. I put the dry ingredients, the flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt in a bowl, and I'm going to mix it up. So the dry ingredients are mixed, and I'm going to set that aside. I have the sugar and coconut oil mixed together. I'm going to beat it with a hand mixer. And the two eggs and vanilla extract. The eggs and vanilla are mixed in now. I'm going to add in the dry mixture like a half cup at a time. I just want to point out that someone is totally stealing my chocolate chips over here. I add in the rolled oats now. For the oats and the chocolate chips and the raisins, I'm going to just stir it by hand. So I just added in the raisins and hopefully I'll be able to add in the chocolate chips. Okay, I just got the chocolate chips in there. I'm going to mix those in now. So the chocolate chips are all mixed in. For half a cup of cookie dough, I'm going to add in one packet of the Toddler Go and Grow Mix-Ins by Similac. I lined a cookie sheet with parchment paper and I have a medium cookie scoop and I'm going to scoop the mixed dough. So I make a pretty level scoop and then I'm going to just put this oops, <laughs> on the parchment. So half a cup makes five cookies. I'm going to keep the cookies with the go and grow mix in separate and then do a cookie sheet of regular cookies too. So now the cookies cook for 10 minutes in a preheated 350 degree oven. I want to add that this recipe makes three and a half dozen cookies and if you don't want to make them all, you can chill the dough for later. So my daughter's cookies just came out of the oven. I'm going to put them on the cooling rack. She got chocolate on herself, but she likes them. They're really good, really good.